So by the end of this particular class, you need to be understanding what it means by LTO and what it means by MTO. At the same time, you need to have an overview of KRI structure. Uh, what I would like you to tell you is KRI is managed or it is headed by commissioners. And that is why we have at the top, we have somebody by the name uh, Commissioner, Commissioner General. Commissioner General. He is the one who is at the top. And in each and every revenue authority of any country, we must have the Commissioner General who coordinates what is happening or who represent that particular agent. Sometimes we refer to him as the CEO of KRI. On the other side still we find that uh, we have like uh, the board members, but uh, the board members, they just get the report from now uh, full-time managers. I'm a full-time uh, uh, full commissioners. Then after the Commissioner General, we have various departments at KRA, various departments that are headed by commissioners. At these departments, they depend on the service that is offered by that particular uh, department. So the, com other, the other commissioners are many, but uh, they, where they are located, they are located in that particular department depending on the service that is offered by that particular department. That is why when you go to any revenue authority office, uh, at the reception somebody will ask you, you, are, you want to get assistance from which department? Ama, what is your problem? So that you can tell the department that is going to send you to. So some of these particular departments, they include, for instance, custom uh, departments. Departments, I can highlight them here. We have custom, custom service department, custom service department. And this is a department that deals with the issues of uh, custom. For instance, issues to do with the payment of custom duty or things to do with uh, importation and exportation. So importers, they are the ones who are interested in getting services from this particular department. Uh, the second department, we have number two, uh, that is uh, uh, domestic service department for medium and small taxpayers. Domestic tax, domestic service department for medium and small taxpayers. So you know KRI we have uh, that is a large taxpayers, we have medium taxpayers, and we have small taxpayers, depending on the taxes that is paid by the persons. And therefore, this particular department is there to handle tax matters for medium and small taxpayers. And this is where we have so many people uh, in the country because uh, in a country like Kenya, many businesses or many persons, they are under medium and small uh, taxpayers. For large taxpayers, they are not many, but they pay a significant amount of tax uh, to the government. So this department is there to address the issues of medium and small uh, taxpayers. Then we have department number three. That is domestic service department for large taxpayers. For large taxpayers. Uh, 
uh, again we are saying uh, we need to give also a special uh, attention to large taxpayers because they contribute a significant amount of tax to our government and therefore we have also we have created a, de a department that is meant to handle the issues of large uh, taxpayers so in this particular case therefore this department is there to handle the issues of large uh, taxpayers again we have another department which is number four that is a uh, corporate corporate support support service department corporate support service department and this particular department is there to handle especially the issues of companies remember also companies they have a lot and they contribute a lot in terms of tax to uh, our government so again this particular department is there so that it can handle again those particular uh, things and again we are saying that uh, mixing for instance the corporates and uh, small taxpayers it can bring an element of confusion but uh, now when we have corporate matters small taxpayers matters so that issue is addressed uh, properly the other uh, department life that is a uh, uh, that is a uh, technical technical support service department and this particular department deals with the matters especially uh, for IT so you know we are, we said that in, in the revenue authorities now because of the changes in technology and reforms and modernization projects we don't have the power so we also have a department that is supporting this particular online uh, system and the last one we have enforcement number six enforcement enforcement support service department enforcement support service department and where we are have uh, enforcement we are saying that uh, KRA uh, want to ensure that uh, there is uh, we are dealing with those people who are not complying we have a, a good way of emphasizing or doing a good follow-up so this particular department is ensuring that uh, we have penalties we have fines and there is proper follow-up of those people who have not complied uh, with the tax uh, system i will summarize that with mentioning something small about lto and M uh, mto so lto simply means large taxpayer office large taxpayer office and uh, it is related now to this domestic uh, domestic service department for large taxpayers this is where this particular office is located and therefore this is simply an office for dealing with the matters of large taxpayers the matters affecting large taxpayers will include for instance issues to do with the income tax and also VAT. Remember income tax and VAT in Kenya they contribute a lot out of the total taxes that we lease. The major revenue we get it uh, from VAT and also from income tax. So for those who are large taxpayers we have created an office by the name large taxpayer office for dealing with those particular large taxpayers then we have mto mto simply means medium taxpayers office and uh, it is an office that is created for handling the issues of medium and small also taxpayers so uh, mto is also an office that is established to be dealing with uh, also income tax and VAT matters that are affecting small and uh, medium uh, taxpayers. 
Now that marks are the end of that particular area, KRI structures, LTUs, and uh, MTUs. So I would like us to move to the next part, that is uh, developing of attacks uh, policy.